Hello, I'm Andrew Parsons. In uh, cooperation with the BBC, I've been doing a survey on my house. As you can see, the house is now being occupied by a bunch of Italians. And, and they have put two cars. Now, as you can see, they have ruined the central part of the lawn. Anyway, I had moved from this house in May of last year. Andrew Parsons, in cooperation with the BBC, speaking to you again, precisely one door away. At 18 Hudson Road, with the occupants of a certain Bacuan family, where my dad and all my family used to know. Reporting again from the same location for the BBC. And if you look over to my right, you will see the Hawth Wood, which has been there for over, well, since creation really. It was in, originally in the Doomsday Book, and it has been disintegrated, literally, by industrial purposes. Firstly, the whole centre, which is an art centre, has been put there to um, art artists, <laughs> artist stuff, and very much, and it has destroyed literally acres and acres of the wood itself. And here we are at the entrance to the hall of the actual wood itself. This was actually in the Doom Book, as I just reported. And if you enter this particular part, we should be coming near one of all. The what are no, known here as craters, which are simply dippers or ditches that, that were ma mainly put in there in ancient times. I mean, who knows? We'll be approaching the, also the Seven Sisters, which is simply seven humps situated around the woodland vegetation. So if you go now, then I will report these to you. We seem to be just inside the entrance to the woods, which you can see is being destroyed by many of man-made products, as you can see. Not a pretty sight, I'm afraid. But nevertheless, we'll be coming across the first of the Dippers and the Seven Sisters. Hello. This is the, one of the first Dippers ever to be found by any members of the public, like we, on the trail that we're doing now. There's obviously a certain trail that people would have taken in the olden days. Well, as you can see, we're facing one of the biggest catastrophes ever existed in time. A fallen log. And as you can see, we'll be following the path as God intended and see where we turn up. This is Andrew Parsons reporting the BBC, the whole crawling. Hello. Well, as you can see, I've just managed to walk up. The first of the dippers, obviously the smallest, of course. Vegetation seems to have damaged most of the lifestyle of this. Good old place. Should something polluted, obviously. I mean, you'll never get be up beside the point of pollution. But this place seems to be one of the one of the wavelengths you might call Crawley, one of the stop-off points there. What Crawley's good for? Got on hold. Slowly being destroyed by industry. again. Of course, this is it. This is King Dipper, the biggest trench in the woods, and I'm, I'm going to now attempt to get down it. Uh Hello, this is Andrew Parsons reporting on behalf of the BBC yet again. And we see another problem pollution in this forest dog's mess. This is much a problem anywhere, but I mean, I mean, if we looked around, I'm sure we could find literally tons and tons of this stuff. But I mean, this place, I mean, you can't just like get rid of all the dog's mess in a wood. I mean, it's dog's environment, really, but 
to actually see it when people like to have a walk, it does tend to get a bit tedious. Hello, Andrew Parsons here again. Well, as you can see, this is one of the smaller dippers. It's probably the smallest dipper that we've seen. Yeah, we have seen smaller. But yeah, this could be the smallest one we've actually sighted tonight. Not too much of a little problem in these outskirts. As you can see, the field over where I'm standing, there is a big field, recreation centre. I mean, everything, everything the public would need apart from a decent forest. Reporting again on behalf of the BBC. As you can see, uh, coming out of the forest, we actually see the vast amount of land the horse surrounds. I mean, we have a recreation centre on my left. We have matches going on, varying from summer sports such as shot put, etc., to cricket, baseball. I mean, most common ball sports that, that support land, basically. Slide facility for youngsters and a paddling pool, which is where they mix dipping, also for youngsters. And, of course, surrounding the whole complex is, of course, industry. Industry which, really, we have too much of. I can see ahead of me a big cage, which rises several stories. I think that there really is no need for this, so much industry. We now are entering the recreation centre for the young youngsters. And after studying around the active campus, I have realised that Britain is not really missing anything with this great this great place we have here. Certain in a few years' time to be demolished by industry. Studying the education centre, as I just said, I've retired to a seesaw, just doing the dial. So, finally, this is Andrew 